Hello fellow freelancers. So today I am trying to do, I'm going to do something a bit interesting. I've been, I was told recently about this freelancersunion.org. I was told to check it out. And so I got sort of curious. I have not checked it out yet and I decided why not film signing up for it and see if it's, uh, you know, see what it's all about. So first of all, Freelancers Union, I'm pretty sure this is based in the United States. I don't see how it, a, free, a union could be international in this sense. Well, let's see here, it says about us. Let's see what it says, first of all. Uh, promoting the interests of independent workers through advocacy, education, and whatever. Membership is free, that's good. Unions, uh, freelance union, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if it has an insurance company, national, national benefits program, this must be national. It doesn't say anywhere here that it's the U.S., at least I don't, oh, across the country. Yeah, I mean, this must only be based in the U.S., uh, which is unfortunate because freelancers, you know, it's worldwide. Freelancers work online, and so it would be best to have something worldwide. But, that, you know, that would be impossible, I think, because laws are different in every country, and so to create a worldwide union would be impossible. I'm still not sold on the idea of a union, even if I am in the States right now, because I... I'm afraid it might sort of limit me or pigeonhole me. Let's go quickly about, uh, see the benefits. Uh, support freelancers at no extra cost to you when you buy insurance through us. So they offer their own insurance, I guess. Access to freelance resources, a members only discount. Uh, so the resource, remember these are all freelancers from graphic designers to photographers to translators to everything. So uh, that and unfortunately, you know, usually it's geared toward people like designers and uh, and programmers. So very often it doesn't help us much. Although here, contract creator discounts. I'm not sure what we have discounts on. Let's browse that. Freelance 101, financial tools, um, freelance discounts, pet health insurance, Candid, Fresh Books, Keeper Tax, Skillshare, one month free and 40% off. Oh, by the way, so here, you use my link, though, on the description below, you get two months for free. So, you know, I don't know if you get 40% off premium membership if you use my link. But anyway, if you want two months free, just use my link. Then 10% uh, off uh, Squarespace, Bench, I'm not sure what that is, Zipcar, okay. Anyway, they seem a bit random, but fine. And again, they're all based in the U.S. Or I, I shouldn't say that, obviously. Fresh Books, Skillshare, Squarespace, those aren't. Um, Zipcar is international too. So uh, here we go, resources for free, uh, freelancers. Anyway, um, attend Spark, our nationwide meetup for freelancers. Uh, sign up for our emails and newsletters. Contribute to the number one blog for freelancers. I have no idea what Spark is. Should I reach out with questions? Visit our contact us page, okay. So let's start looking, looking into joining and see what happens. Uh, first of all, there's an upcoming event June 3rd. Yeah, that's not upcoming anymore. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's June 9th right now that I'm taping this. So, oh, here we go. Houston, June 10th, June 10th. Uh, anyway, so this might be interesting. Probably people can attend from all over the world, although I'm sure all the information will only be for America. But if you're in the States, it could still be interesting. Let's see if you're in the States or if you're interested in looking into this. Let's see if we can do this. So what I'm thinking of doing here is applying an international zip code I'm, I'm pretty sure that won't work yeah so yeah it needs to be an american zip code i guess um, so here we go uh then I'll, I'll fill it with an american zip code and we'll see how seriously they take it um and uh let's see what happens here i obviously did freelancers union Yadokahi because i don't want them to spam me i guess i'm signed in my account That's my member ID. Okay. I'm not going to change my password. I probably need to confirm. I probably need to confirm, so we'll do that now. Uh, oh no, I don't need to click on anything. It's already been confirmed. Okay. So here we go. Uh, I'm a member. Let's see what. Okay, anyway, th this seems to have general re um, general resources in general. So actually, this could be worth it even if you are international just because you can get a couple discounts that you might be interested in getting. I think it has a lot of information, but that seems like a lot of stuff to read through that you can probably find online, but that's fine. 
Um, and let's see, like something client non-payment here. This is something interesting, like something that's relevant. You can file a non-payment claim, establish clear expectations before you're working. You have a contract creator. That could be interesting, a contract creator. Uh, practice prompt and planned invoicing, pressure clients to pay, own collections letter template. Oh, so that could be interesting, have a collections letter template. Again, for international stuff, it'll be a lot harder. File a claim, take legal action. Uh, local cities or states solve small claims. Court. This is all, this is all American. So actually, if you are international, though, this could be interesting because you could apply to the American one. And if you ever have clients in the states, you might be able to um, use some of this to enforce uh, non-payment. Non -payment. So let's see, 30-day payment terms. Unless it's otherwise specified, you have 30 days to pay. Mandatory contracts. Clients must give the contract when hire a freelancer for over $800 of work. Um, actually, I didn't know that. Uh, and so anyway... They cannot retaliate against a freelancer for pursuing payment. So the only iffy thing here is if you want to apply internationally, you have to give a U.S. Uh, zip code. It doesn't seem to matter that much. Uh, like they don't seem to follow up too much because they accepted me right away, for example. Although you might get into hot water later if you're trying to actually use one of their um, uh, one of their resources and they found out that you used. Uh, false information or wrong information. So if you do have an address or a zip code in the US that you can use, then by all means use it. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm not sure how much help it'll be. However, it seems extremely easy to sign up. So I kind of feel like why not just sign up and then see what you, what you get with it. I really don't think I'm gonna be using this much anytime in the near future, but for now I'm signed up and I'll take it as they go. So if you guys know anything about the Freelancers Union, please feel free to let me know. If you guys know anything about any union around for freelancers, I'd be very interested in knowing about it. Maybe in different countries, they have different ones. Because um, that could always be interesting if you have a client in that specific country. I mean, if they have something in Italy, please let me know. I've, I feel like I have quite a few Italian clients who still owe me money and don't pay me. And uh, yeah, insurance. So they have different types of insurance here. Again, this is all American though. That's why I didn't, here, let's see what sort of health insurance they have. Uh, Okay. Freelancers Union. I don't know what's going on. What insurance do you need? Health, gender, date of birth, tobacco, zip, blah, 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 blah. That's odd. I don't I have no idea what a qualifying life event is. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, I have, so you need special enrollment period. Yeah, this is kind of a mess, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, there you go. That's pretty much it. I might just take out that whole health insurance part because I feel like that was useless. But anyway, if you have something similar in your country, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, that's pretty much all that I have to say about this. I'll let you know if I ever see any benefits from this. I'm kind of skeptical, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Savedum.